Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Cube SMP. When I logged in originally today, I was told by Bayani to start recording at the title screen and not as soon as I got onto the server, which, uh, <laughs> kinda scared right now, I, uh, not gonna lie, maybe I was pranked. I don't know, I don't know what happened, but, uh, immediately, I don't, I think, I don't think I'm close to the spawn when I log in here, we'll see. But when I log in... I hope there's not, like, a freaking explosive device in one of my buildings. Here we go. Oh! Okay, so I'm not at spawn. Oh, John immediately leaves the game. John immediately leaves the game. <laughs> oh, man. He left. Why? Why'd he leave? Hmm. What is this? Wait, where are we right now? We are at... Okay, we're close to spawn. Uh, okay. Alright, yeah, that's my renovated cactus farm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What is this right here? Is this the prank? I've never seen this building before. What is this? Oh, it's just Vass's new house. <laughs> Uh-oh. Where did I get pranked? Why am I supposed to be recording right now? What happened? I don't see anything that happened. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't notice. Oh my. I see something. Grazer, I hope you like chicken. This is payback for blowing up my floor. Oh no. Bayani. Bayani. Bayani! Oh my goodness, you better have at least bought- Oh! <gasps> you better have at least bought a stack. Not even a stack, but... <laughs> yes, yeah, so if you did see an episode of Bionis where his floor just magically blew up, I was testing, uh, controlled demolitions or explosions they just logged on. Bionis, you got me good! <laughs> I was testing the, the lowest possible explosion that you could do before it would be considered a destructive uh, a destructive method of going about things rather than a prank. And I tested it on Bayani's house and I blew up his floor. It didn't do any damage. I made sure it didn't. But come on, Bayani, this is going to take forever to clean up. What is wrong with you? John. Was it just you, Bayani? I believe it was just Bayani because why did John leave then? This is payback for blowing up my flower or my floor. John and Straub helped, so that's why John left. <laughs> Freaking <st> John. <laughs> and then Strabity Jam. I don't know why he stayed on the server. I guess I wouldn't have suspected him. Ah, well, this is going to take a while to clean up. <laughs> Dang it. Oh well. I deserved it. I did not sign my prank though, so I don't know how Bionni figured it out, but I guess I left cryptic messages around. It was pretty evident that I was the one that blew up his floor though. But uh, yeah. Dang! Oh my goodness, what's this? Oh, uh, just chess. What is all- ah! Stop putting more, John! Alright, well I will be right back after I clean this up. Alright, so you guys probably saw this house from earlier on where I was pranked by John, Strabity Jam, and Bayani. And you're wondering, who's John? Why is he on the server? What what does this server have to do with John? I didn't see him ever, ever, ever before. Well, this is his house, actually. He built this last night. And uh, what he did to get on the server, it's the most stupid way that he chose to do it. But we gave him the leap test, the test that I made. Hold on, let me kill this, this zombie. We gave him the leap test. Basically, it's a test, name, date, instructions, questions, mark. You guys saw it in a video before. I don't know if I've mentioned it to everyone, but uh, it was just a joke, basically. We were going to let him in on the server anyways, but we made him complete this test. And he actually passed the test. He was the first person to have ever passed the test. So, we let him on the server, and I'm introducing him to you here today. So, if I go into his house, we see a bunch of furnaces. And we see a pressure plate that says Summon Defect 7, which is John's username, and he's the owner of Mindplex. So the leap test is the key since he completed it. So if I throw this leap test on the pressure plate, then he comes right up. Hi, Grace. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, John. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. 
Awesome. <laughs> Dude, this took so much work. I know. <laughs> so much. John work. was just saying, telling me how freaking weird this was to, to, to do all this work. Let's go check it out. Oh. Yeah, I just made this super super fast. So. <laughs> oh, dude, we're stuck in a. No one. Oh no. You want to log? Real quick. Yeah. Go. All right, there we go. Yep. All right, okay. I'm out. All right, so I'm not gonna be able to explain everything here because you made it, so you can go <laughs> ahead and do that. <laughs> All right, so it. Uh, you got a pickaxe. You can hand me your yeah. pickaxe. I put mine go. up. All right, so really quick. You're gonna have to follow me around, Grazer. All right. Oh my so, god. <laughs> okay, so the pressure plate triggers this redstone on top of this dirt block yeah. that I'm looking at right now. Yeah. Comes all the way Ooh. down. I delay this. Yeah. I delay this, and then it comes up to uh, this block, which actually has to be here because it breaks this redstone. Right. Current. So this uh -huh. comes all the way around. This is what pressures my platform. <laughs> Okay. So this is really delayed. So it comes through. The top layer is delayed the most because it's the top one, the third one. The second one is delayed the second most, and the bottom one's delayed just a little bit. Shut up, Razor. It's ridiculous. Okay, so uh, if you look over here, let me just break these guys real quick. Okay. So I'll reset this real quick. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, you forgot to break the current here. You removed the block, remember? Oh. Did I? Yeah, you removed this block. Oh, I broke it. There you broke it. There it goes. Oh, okay, so it so went up. I didn't see it, though. I, hold on. Let is... me... <laughs> oh! Got out of my way. Okay, here. I don't know what I'm doing. You do here, it. Here, here, here. Let me put that back. Okay. Okay. So this is the quick side. As soon as the pressure plate triggers, this uh, it flips this redstone uh, switch off, and this comes in, and it pulls down this piston, which is that coal block that was there. Yeah. And then this comes through, delays full, whatever, three or four ticks. And then that pulls the coal and the piston back into this little slot right back here where these pistons are. So watch, I'll show you just to make sure. You know, the hardest part of this was not actually doing the redstone. It was collecting the slime balls. Oh, yeah, it's so balls hard to find slimes. To, to find. Uh, we already so, had three, but you needed a bit more. But yeah, yeah so that's... This is, uh... <laughs> this is John. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this took so much work. <laughs> so yeah, John is actually good at redstone. If you didn't notice, he's better than I think everyone else on the server. So yeah, that's how we chose to introduce him. Hi, John. Hi, hi, crazy. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's try to get out of here. I need my pick back. Do you want to destroy this circuit, or do you just want to keep it here? Oh, leave it here. All right, memories to come. There you go. Take that. Ah, I fell. I'm coming, I'm coming, don't worry. <laughs> Alright, how do I get up? I'm gonna do the thing. Just build, just build. There we go. <laughs> get uh, out of, you're out of, get out of my house, you're not welcome. Alright, bye bye. <laughs> bye. Bye John. Bye, bye, Gracie. Alright, so we are at option two. I decided I would choose option two over the option one because I liked it better personally and a lot of you liked it better. And we have a flower forest right next to us that I didn't see earlier so that is awesome so this is option two we are at 1220 ish and uh, here's the stone place the mountainside is over there and over there we've got mountains all around the roofed forest is just be behind that mountain uh, over there and the plains is right here so it's all together here and today I want to lay down the foundation of the house and I also want to link up my nether portal because I'm going to be working here a lot uh, with the nether hub. So we're going to choose our place in the nether hub depending on uh, where it leads because we need to have a pathway that leads to this portal and not someone else's. But this is what we're going to be working with today. I've finally made a work pick and uh, I just want to lay the foundation so I got a lot of dark wood and I got some stone and some cyan. So I want to see uh, if, if I make a path kind of like the one at spawn kind of leaning over this edge here if it would work out. I kind of have the idea in mind, so let's try this out. I believe it's like, nope, it's the other way around. It's like this. Nope. <laughs> oh, it's like that. It's it's four. There we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to take just a few of those, and then I'm going to turn them into half slabs. So we've got 48. And I want to make it so that like the path kind of extends. I don't have a shovel. That's awful. <laughs> 
I want to make it so like the path kind of extends over the cliff kind of dealio. So like so. Hmm. If we make it like this. And then I want it to like go diagonally down the cliff. If I, if I could pull this off, that'd be awesome. <laughs> and then it would go down there. And then I want to go back up here and make the other end of the path. And today we're going to make the path and we're going to make the foundation. And then a little surprise at the end of the episode uh, that relates kind of to the beginning. So we're going to make this stretch out to the stone all the way. I, I think that looks good. Basically, what we're going to do here is we're going to build our main house. What I have planned here is we're going to, we're going to build the main house here. And then up on the mountainside, we are going to build kind of like a... Um, uh, a helipad. I had a helipad in mind. I don't know why. It's a high point and I wanted to make a helipad, but that's one of the ideas I had in mind. I also kind of want to make a piston elevator, kind of like the thing I made in my single player world and implement it so that I can get up the mountain without having to climb it. Uh, same goes with, I don't know if I'll be using these mountains as much because they're a bit farther away. This one kind of connects to here, but uh, the whole place is just awesome and I have an unlimited source of flowers over here. Oh, it's amazing. I love it. Uh, but let's get our, our stone out. I think maybe for the main house, we're going to make the pathway. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll make it a nice seven because we need the door. So we're going to break the block and make go around here. And it kind of does one, two, three, four down the hill. We kind of want to match it. So it, it's, it starts diagonalizing at this point in time. We got to keep doing that. Oh. And then we're going to fill it in with cyan, which I don't have enough of right now. I can easily make it, though. It's uh, the lapis, I believe, is in my ender chest. I haven't made up my own ender chest, but there's a community ender chest that I keep all of my good stuff in now, just so I don't lose it. And then at this point, it starts to diagonalize. So we make it down here. All right. And then we do... Okay, so that didn't work. I forgot that if it's the same path, you got to make it a bit shorter. Because <laughs> I am not a builder, and I don't know this stuff. So at this point, we're going to make it go like this. I want the design not to be so professional as just kind of a messy kind of look. Kind of like so. And then it's just going gonna, gonna to be messy all the, way, all the way to the ground, I think. That's the way I want it, at least. So let's go make more of those. Uh, I have brought hardened clay. So what I'm going to do, I brought a stack just to see, to get the idea of some of the, the stuff we're going to be doing here. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Just to get an idea of what some of the stuff would look like before we stain it the color we want. Kind of like this path here. It's going to extend over this way and then turn this way and go down. It's a steep cliff right there. I want to make that look a bit more even. There we go. Lots of half slabs are being used here. I didn't expect this. There we go. Nice. Leaves. Hmm. Kind of coming down. Ooh. <laughs> so I think I'm going to build the house with uh, wood and uh, clay. We're going to make this a bit higher. Kind of looks weird. All right. Kind of like so. We're out already. Dang it, man. But that's the, kind of the idea I had for the path walk. Like, it would kind of extend down that way. I'll work on that a bit more later. But now what I want to do is get the ends of the house. And then I'll build some kind of foundation art to it. Kind of like put some wood around. Uh, kind of... I had a... I. Ooh, I'm getting shot at. I had an idea of kind of what I wanted to build last night in a dream. I actually remembered a dream. And uh, I don't remember them very often, by the way, if you didn't know that. But I remembered a dream and I had an idea on how I wanted to build it. But I kind of forget. It's like a blurred image in my memory right now. So I'll try to build the foundation as best I can to match that image. And I'll be right back. No! Oh! <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't have a sword. No, 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 no. No, no. All right, let's get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. 
All right, so I've been playing around with the stairs here for quite a bit, and I don't know how I'm going to make them work, to be honest. I tried, like, spiral designs and all this. I'm sure I'll figure it out, but the stairs are not what matters. I want to know if you guys kind of like the window style. I know I didn't put too much effort into it, effort into it. Literally surrounded with wood, put some glass in, and surrounded with a color. This is not permanent, by the way. I hope you already knew that, but just in case you didn't. That color of clay is not permanent. That is just to see what it would look like if it were to be filled in. Over here, I want like a balcony. Oh, that spider jumped onto it. I need my axe. Get out of here. Dang spider. Put some flowers here. I'm already taking advantage of my flower forest. <laughs> Why are there so many mobs? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we sleep? How many people are on? Strawberry jam and vass. Okay, let's do this get a steak and uh, I put some foundations here kind of like how big it's going to be all around uh, but I think that's gonna be it that I'm gonna work on it today but I think I'm gonna finish this up within the coming episodes just so that I have a permanent uh, home yes sleep oh they left the game they want me to sleep all right here I go I gotta get rid of this monster first Get out of here, zombie! Why do you join back? I haven't slept yet! <laughs> and there, that's what it was like. Yes. Alright. I'm sleeping. Oh, he's yelling at Mitch. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. Okay. Uh, oh! Gosh, there's so many mobs! Get out of here, man! Jeez! Oh, he's in the nether, so he wouldn't have counted. Uh, but now we're going to build our nether portal. So let's get that going. Uh, we got 36 obsidian with us. I have so much obsidian because we were messing around with the linkings, or the the links, the, the meetup links to the nether hub yesterday. Bionni wanted to change it, but he realized he couldn't or something. Uh, he was messing around with the nether portals, and it was creating new ones, and I got all the obsidian once I tore them down. So that's how I got them all, and it worked out in my favor because I could easily make a uh, another portal at my base. Come on, get a flint. Oh, here we go. We got some gravel over here. Come here, gravel. <laughs> Come here. So this is going to be my home turf, and now we are going to go choose a place. Come on, give me flint. We're going to go choose a place in the nether hub where we will be staying and where we will be creating our tunnel. Uh, but we can't go through that yet. We got to go to the nether, the nether hub. So let's just take down our coordinates. Uh, I want to quickly make a shovel so that I can, uh, so that I can. Uh, oh, we got stone smelting. Mine this gravel fastly or quicker, and without problems. So there we go. Stone shovel. Nice. Let's go. Come on. Get at least one piece of flint. Ah, uh, I don't have iron, do I? Nope. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. We got a flint. Okay. Uh, I need iron, so I'm going to find iron, and then I will be right back with you guys. All right, so we've got a piece of iron. Let's head back up and light up the nether portal. But we're not going to head through it yet. We just want to light it up, and then we're going to take down the coordinates. So we're at 1,200, or sorry, 1,300-ish, 35. So divide that by 8, and that's the slot that we're going to want to choose in the nether hub. But if we go here and light it up, let's quickly take our flint and our iron ingots and do that. Ha <laughs> ha, it is lit up. We are not going to go through it. We're going to head back to spawn. And I just realized we almost have 30 levels. I'm going to keep my stuff here. I'm, I think, I don't think anybody will be here ever. So that's good. Uh, so we're going to head back to spawn. And I just noticed we're this like four levels from level 30. So we might perform an enchant. I'm going to want to enchant my... I don't know, diamond axe or diamond... Yeah, I'm going to do diamond chest plate at level 30. See what we get. But let's head back to spawn and do the linking. And I will be right back. There he is. The man of the hour. He's working away. Shh. He's working away. He doesn't see us. <laughs> He's like a machine, this Bayani. He's like a freaking machine. This is all he does all day is work on the nether home. Look at him. I, I don't even think he sees him here. Hello! 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 He sees me! There we go! <laughs> He's still working. Still working. 
All right, well, it's time to choose our portal. I think I want one that is uh, vertical like this and not diagonal. Hmm. But we're in the positive side, so we got to go this way. This way and negatively. Hmm. It's got to be... It's got to be about here. I think it's going to be this one. Or is it going to be this one? This is vast. This is vast. Okay. Hmm. It's going to be this one then. So let's make our little line. I, I wanted a vertical one anyways. It's kind of what I... So what's, what times 8 is 1,200? Let's take out the phone. Let's quickly do the calculation. It is going to be... I can't believe I can't do this. I know what 1,200 12, divided by 6 is is 2, but 1,200 divided by 8, 150. So we got to dig up to 150 if we want to link it correctly to... Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! Are you kidding me? So this is mine. Gotta go positive. Okay, I think I got all my stuff. Yes, I think it's all been retrieved. Come here, Papa. Oh no, it's not all been retrieved. I think some of it burned. Get out of here. Move, job. What are you doing? All right, get this axe. Let's see if all my stuff's here. Oh no, I lost my pick. My pick is gone. I lost my work pick. No! No! Strom, come give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. I lost my work pick. I do die a lot on the server. I'm, I'm so careless. I don't know why. Um, but I got most of the stuff I had. I think it was only the pick, the feet, and the food that were lost. And the flint and steel. That's something I noticed as well. I didn't have anything important, right? Right? <laughs> Hopefully not. I don't I don't see anything that, that's definitely lost that I can name off art except for the pick. And that pick was so good. Dang it. Ah, that, that ticks me off. <laughs> oh, well. Let's get some food on the ready here. And then we will keep moving ourselves forward because life moves on. All right. Here's my ender chest, by the way, for those of you who wanted to see it. Everything of mine is in here, and I think I am going to take this opportunity to make an Eye of Ender. <laughs> I want one of those. So let's do this. And this. There we go. Eye of Ender. And put it in the chest. I'm going to need that to contribute to the end, and I might want it to make an Ender chest of my own. I don't know. Put the blaze rod in there as well. We don't need sticks. Uh, but we need um, flint and steel. So I got flint and I got iron. And we also need a decent pick. So which pick do I have left? It's pretty decent, the Silk Touch one. Let's pray that I don't die. <laughs> oh man, oh, I hate dying because I had so many levels and I was going to enchant. Oh man. And I think the Nether Portal or the Nether Hub has actually changed since I was just in it. Yeah, they've added some nice coloring. Fine, is that work? <laughs> so this is mine, yes. Yes, it is. So, if we make our way all the way down this corridor. Oh, we are here and we are at the coordinates 162 and 4. So, 162 times 8 is going to give us 1300, and 4 times 8 is going to give us around 20 where we were. Oh, I accidentally took a screenshot. So, let's hope this links up. Come on. I'm wondering, was it? Yeah, they were both positive coordinate values, I think. I think. Hey, Vats, link up, please. Yes, we got it. It is linked up. Yes, we have an easy way home. We don't have to walk here anymore. Oh, thank goodness. We just got to go through the portal. I'm going to customize this corridor. Uh, I think maybe in the next episode, I'm going to make it bigger. And because, uh, look, efficiency 4 really brings it out. <laughs> so it shouldn't be too hard to clear. I believe Bayani wants the nether hub done by today, I think. But... To end off the episode, as you saw at the beginning, he did lay a prank on me. And since I know he's going to be working on the Nether Hub and being in the Nether the whole time, I think we're going to just have to go lay a little prank on Mr. Bayani. Uh, <laughs> so he's going to finish the Nether Hub and he's going to be like, oh, let's go back to the house. 
and then he's gonna see the prank. He's a robot, man. Look at this. Very, very nice. Very nice. He actually wanted to move. So what I was talking about was he wanted to move this portal over to there. He wanted to move it here and have us come out through there, but it wouldn't link properly. And and there was one time where he actually came through it and he just came through busted portals, uh, a busted portal area, and we were wondering what was going on. So he had to deal with the nether portal being in the middle here, and uh, he may do pretty well, I'd say. He, he made it pretty beautiful. Uh, I have none, sorry. Do I? Okay, uh, hey John! All right, um, let's do this. Just stack them in here. Just put another rack in there. <laughs> yes. Mess what up? Hmm. Doofus. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's go prank Bionni. All right, so prepare yourselves for the worst prank in the world. <laughs> I'm not going to put any signs outside this time because that might hint at it. But what's going to happen is he's going to walk in and he's not going to notice anything. He's going to trigger this tripwire. Now, if he doesn't make it all the way to the second one and he lifts off the tripwire, he'll step on that block most probably and that one will open and it'll let him in. So, for example, say I'm Bionni. And I'm coming home and I want to get stuff. He's not on the server. Yeah, he's not. And I'm like, oh, wait. And I'm like, what that? Oh, and then I fall in. And then there's signs down here that say, hey, Bionni, remember when you put 1,000 chickens in my shop, making it hard to clean up? Well, it's my turn. Have fun, Grazer MC. And what I mean by that is, yeah, it took me a while to clean up the chickens, so it's time to get them back. Let's quickly clean that up. It's hard to get around this place, but his house is basically unprankable. He's made it so that every prank is kind of noticeable, but I think this one might work. But look at this place. So I've got an inverter here. I've got two repeaters here that connect through this block to the redstone torch, which is the acts as the inverter, goes up and connects to the tripwire. I made this really bad looking design so that when he's coming, I assume he's, he'd be coming from the hill over here or from here, he doesn't see it. Yeah, he wouldn't be able to notice it at all. So then he just walks in and he gets trapped. Very, very, I think it's going to take him about 5-10 minutes to clean up like it did with me and the chickens. So it's kind of fair. But uh, just to give you an idea, let's dodge that. Uh, the trip wires are here. I broke half his chest because he, he only had enough stuff in his chest so that it only needed uh, one chest there. It's connected to here. This is a mess. The redstone's under there. And he trips it. I don't know actually why it does that. I, I expected them both to open at once, but it's actually better now that I think about it if it opens like that and then they both open and close. But yeah, <laughs> that's it for this episode, everyone. I do hope you enjoy, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.